to discover all the different elements of what will make Bangladesh Asia's next economic tiger. You know I call that the Royal Bengal Tiger. And when I speak of Bangladesh as the next Asian tiger, I am not making that up. That is not empty words. What we see here at Hamid Group, at this factory, at the largest washing facility in all of Asia, at this most modern facility, what we see here is the Asian tiger being built. Being built, taking into account worker safety. Being built, taking into account buildings that don't fall down. Being built, taking into account the welfare of the workers. So that is what we see here. And people are always asking me about my vision. I have a vision of the apparel industry of Bangladesh undergoing a massive transformation to be the best in the world. That transformation has happened here and is happening in other places. And my vision is the day when brand Bangladesh is a premium brand, the best brand, and the biggest brand in the world because Bangladesh becomes the largest exporter of apparel in the world. These are not empty words. This is becoming reality right here in Hameen and other facilities I have visited. Okay, Mr. Ambassador. You know, we are going to celebrate 50 years of our independence in 2021. Uh, what, is, what do you see? How, how will our economy will be, especially the garment sector and export sector at 2021 of Bangladesh? Well, when I look ahead, I see so much change happening today. I see what I just spoke of, the transformation of the apparel industry. I see a new tannery, which I'm going to visit in a couple weeks up at Shavar, the whole new tannery park. And when that tannery park opens, Bangladesh will become a huge exporter of shoes, of finished leather goods to America, to Europe, to the world. And when I look at other elements, I look to 2021, I see uh, Bangladesh as a major player in the global marketplace for uh, freighters and frozen shrimp and software development and semiconductor production, all sorts of IT stuff for flowers, bone china, juice and silk and, and so many other things. I see all of this. And these things will come together, create Asia's next economic tiger and create middle-income Bangladesh. Not middle-income Bangladesh with some statistical way, but middle-income Bangladesh, meaning Bangladeshis, all Bangladeshis, have the means to provide their families uh, uh, safe house and ample good food and good health care and good education. That's what I mean. Now, there are obstacles to this, and we all know this, the constraints of the infrastructure, the roads, the railroads, the power, the energy, the port. We know these things, but those are all solvable, and we know about the constraints of corruption and rule of law and red tape and even political instability, the threat of that. We know about these things, but these can all be overcome, and I think they will be overcome, and the result will be the Royal Bengal Tiger. The Royal Bengal Tiger. I really mean that. So that's my vision. And here is that vision. Not just vision, but reality. Right here. We're standing in that. Right here, today, at this planet. This place. Well, yeah, here, I come here and I'm interested in so many things because the apparel industry of tomorrow must meet global standards for fire safety. We see that here. We just had a good demonstration. But throughout the whole factory, what am I looking for? Public address system, 
I'm looking for alarm system. I'm looking for sprinkler system. I'm, I'm looking for fire hoses with water pressure. We saw the water pressure. And now the fire doors are coming in. So all of these things bring the fire safety that needs standards. I'm looking for factory structural soundness. No more Rana Plaza, <coughs> which that building meets those standards. I'm working, looking for workers who have a right to voice their views and to engage in meaningful uh, dialogue with management. And we uh, participated in a worker participation committee meeting uh, for a few minutes and could see some exchange between uh, the workers and the management, which goes on uh, at least one time a month, uh, every month. So these are all positively relevant. Things. This is why uh, I'm very encouraged by this interview. And it makes me believe stronger than ever that this should be uh, Asia's next time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.